First, unscrew the backplate and open to reveal the CPU and VGA heatsinks. Remove the chipset heatsink fan. Now we're going to remove the CPU heatsink. Start by unscrewing the three screws here. Detach the temperature probe. And now the remaining four screws using a crisscross pattern. Slowly nudge the CPU heatsink back and forth to loosen the thermal paste bond while applying slight upward pressure. Now unscrew the VGA fan and the four heatsink screws, again using a crisscross pattern. Lift up slightly on the back of the heatsink and slowly pull towards you. Remove the two VGA card screws, lift the card up to about a 30 degree angle and slowly remove. Now, while holding the GTX 480 at a 30 degree angle, slowly insert and push down and insert the two screws. While holding the heatsink slightly above the card, move it into position and lower it down with the far end touching first. Insert the four screws halfway and then tighten using a crisscross pattern. It is important to maintain even pressure on the core during installation to prevent the heatsink compound from being squeezed out to one side. Attach the VGA fan using the three silver screws. I recommend using a manual screwdriver here as it is easy to over tighten. Thoroughly clean the CPU surface. I find contact cleaner works best. It is not necessary to apply thermal paste as the new heatsink has it pre-applied. Remove the protective cellophane from the thermal pads and the thermal paste cover. 
Slowly, lower the heatsink into position and tighten the four main screws halfway. Now, tighten the four screws in a crisscross pattern until they are snug. Tighten the three chipset heatsink screws. Move the chipset fan into position and attach the power connection. Now insert the three screws. Attach the CPU temperature probe. Do a final check to make sure all fans are connected, nothing is loose, and there are no screws sitting on the motherboard. Now attach the cover, first by the rear, pivot down, and insert the screws. Congratulations, you've now completed the installation. Let's boot up Windows, install the drivers, and see how it performs.